Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Eric Roselli, who is the Chief of Adult Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. Dr. Roselli, I'm gonna call you Eric for the rest of this interview because we've known each you other must. for 30 yes. years. Good to see you again. Yeah, same, Adam. Just so everybody knows, we met first at the University of Michigan about 30 years ago. One thing that you and I have talked about over the years is the Ross procedure, right. which I went through and had nearly 20 years ago and have had an extraordinary result. No reoperations, no reinterventions. Awesome. Not saying that procedure is for everybody with aortic valve disease, but I recently saw something in our community that I'd never seen before in which a patient posted that they had undergone a reverse Ross procedure with you at the yeah. Cleveland Clinic. Yeah. And I was hoping you could spend a few minutes with our community sharing what is the reverse Ross and when and how do you use it? Absolutely, listen, when we talk about choosing an aortic valve and we're choosing a biologic choice, it's all about durability and folks want the ROS if they're young and things come together, then because the ROS might offer you the best chance at durability, like the durability you've had. Part of the reason we kind of reinvigorated our adult ROS program was because we were seeing patients come back with late failures of the ROS, or I don't know, failure is the right word, degeneration of problems with it, needing another operation. And we realized we could do kind of operations where we still saved the valve. Sometimes we turn it into a David's procedure if there's an aneurysm around it and we save that valve that's functioning really well. And then sometimes we do an operation which was really um, pioneered by Gusta Pedersen, uh, the great Gusta Pedersen from our group, what's called the reverse Ross, which means he takes that autographed pulmonary valve and we put it back over where it came from, which is awesome. So you still have your living valve and um, and then we replaced the aortic valve with some other choice, a mechanical or biologic valve. And, and I think it was around 2007 when Dr. Pedersen first started, started doing that. And we've all learned how to do that. And it's not for every patient, but again, we, we love this idea of saving the living valve. It's, it's a great sort of principle of, of care. And, um, and we've had experience with over 50 of these. The operation is done you know, really well. And uh, if you're right fit for it, it's a kind of a cool choice to put, put it back where it came. And the reason you can do it is if that valve's not functioning so well anymore in the aortic position, which is a really kind of violent environment for that valve, but still looks like pretty decent looking functional living valve, it can usually do okay in that pulmonary position where you used to have a homograft, which was dead, you know, um, because that's a much calmer, low pressure system. Like I, I always say, um, the pulmonary, is, pulmonary valve position is sort of like a, a lazy river in a resort swimming pool or something, and the aortic valve is like the Pacific Ocean, you know, Mavericks surf environment or something like that. So you can take it and put it back, and then you replace the aortic valve, and it's a, it's a cool way to sort of um, do a late operation on a Ross, which is still really nice for a patient, a nice option. Well, I love that you are doing everything you can because I've always seen you campaign for keeping the living tissue yeah. in the heart and going back to what you said at the beginning, it's all about the durability. Yeah. How can you keep that going throughout the patient's lifetime? Eric, as always, great to see you. Thanks for everything you're doing at the Cleveland Clinic. Keep it up and I'm just so happy you could be with us today. Of course, thanks Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.